Hey, what is up guys? So the Act 2 Battle Pass has now been leaked, as well as this really, really cool um, homepage for Valorant that I think looks amazing. Um, now I'm gonna pause this throughout as we go along. Now sadly, I can't actually read what these say because they are in a different language and I don't know any other language other than English. So um, I'm sure that someone will go through and have all this translated as well as uh, an English version of this will eventually be leaked, I'm sure. But this is the full season two battle pass. Uh, there could be some slight things that change in here. But from what I understand, this is this is going to be the Season 2 Battle Pass. I would assume that it cost about the same amount that it did in uh, Act 3. I, I can't confirm nor deny that, but that's going to be my assumption. I don't see why they would change the price. Um, but this is Tier 1. We have the Bulldog. This is a green, uh, kind of alien-like looking Bulldog. Definitely really cool for the Battle Pass. I think that's a, a really cool looking skin. And I'm gonna pause here and there. You've got a little buddy that looks like it has a giraffe on it, I believe that's a giraffe. Um, interesting buddy there. Then 10 Radiantite points, a calling card with a car on it, which I was surprised to see this. Um, cars don't really fit into the Valorant um, <clears throat> anything. <laughs> I, I was surprised when I saw this car in the battle pass, but I mean, hey, it's just a calling card. It looks cool. Um, there might be some sort of tie in with Yoro potentially, uh, but I'm not sure. Then we have the Bucky, which this is a very interesting graffiti style uh, skin collection. I really like towards the back where you have that uh, green I believe ice upside down ice cream cone is what it looks like to me. The top looks like an ice cream cone. I don't, I don't know what it is. I also can't really tell what that says. Um, but just a very interesting graffiti style, uh, skin right there. Then we have, uh, a couple other random things, a new sticker, a new calling card. And then this ghost skin. Uh, now this skin looks kind of similar in my opinion to like a sky or viper skin the barrel on the inside looks like vipers uh little gas <laughs> um and then the the cool yellow white and black um just some interesting school uh skins in this battle pass i'm glad that they added some some variation in there um another buddy more things a new spray no shorty <laughs> Uh, more Radiantite, which is awesome. Salt, uh, new shorty skin. Hold on, I'm gonna back up on that shorty skin really quick. Oh, there it goes. Uh, so that's the similar to the Bucky. It's got a squid in the back, exclamation point. It says bang times two. Interesting. Uh, you even have like the chicken spray in there. Uh, so definitely some really cool graffiti type skins. Another 10 Radiantite points. And then the same collection as the Bulldog earlier, we now have a Spectre for it. Again, that green alien looking skin. I think that looks really, really cool. Uh, Zoro's new, or Yoro, not Zoro. Uh, Yoro's new calling card. The new Judge, which I believe goes with the, I believe it was a Shorty earlier. Um, another shotgun skin, yay. <laughs> like we don't already have enough more radiantite a new buddy holding a knife interesting and this is awesome now for someone like me who already has a lot of the skins in the game you know having a new operator skin isn't that important but i absolutely love that they added an operator skin that is unique into the battle pass. I think that really adds to the value of the battle pass. And it has all these different sprays in here. You see the uh, the bear with the glasses, you see the, the like skull, really cool purple graffiti. Uh, overall, I think this is a really, really great skin to have in the battle pass. I think this is probably one of the best ones I've seen so far um, in the battle pass. New calling card. More Radiantite, which is awesome. Just keep putting Radiantite in these battle passes. Makes it really worth getting. Uh, new Ares skin with that yellow, green, and black. New Buddy. Uh, 
a samurai buddy. And then, of course, a new guardian skin. We get so many guardian skins. Um, this one, I, I think, looks really, really cool, though. I don't think it's uh, anything super special. I do, I do like this alien uh, green and gold look, though. I, th I think it's a very good, aesthetically pleasing skin, in my opinion. Uh, then we have 10 more Radianite. New Ascent Buddy. Uh, the Odin, which I, when I first saw this, I thought the bullets looked really, really weird. Uh, as the bullets are uh, going above the gun. It, I don't know, it just kind of looks weird from that angle, in my opinion. But uh, a cool graffiti skin, same as the the Operator and the, and the rest of them that they've added. I think it looks cool. Um... I think, I think that the skins that have been added to this battle pass are well worth it, in my opinion. More Radianite, awesome. Killjoy, calling card. A Phantom for the for the green alien looking skin. I have no idea what that actually says, but <laughs> uh, Kingdom Buddy right there. Uh, pretty cool spray that goes through everything and ninja star buddy more radiant knight and this knife now this is uh this is something special i think this is one of the most unique looking knives that they've added to the game obviously this is the tier 50 uh thing that you get i think that looks very very cool and then uh the green alien looking classic which also looks really really nice and then we also have this calling card of a guy holding some sort of um, liquid essence uh, of some sort. Not sure what that's supposed to be. I'm sure people will, will figure out what that is um, eventually. And then you have the epilogue, which comes with the gold salt, 30 radionite points, and the same calling card for the car but now it has changed colors so i i have to say this epilogue doesn't seem that great in my opinion i i guess it's similar to the last epilogue i feel like in the epilogue they should put something more um but it, it's not terrible right it's better than nothing the epilogue is just something extra so i can't really complain about it um and then going into the collection here it looks like he's going to look in these these alien skins actually have variants to them. Uh, I think that gold looks amazing. I think the white is okay. That gold looks really, really nice though. And then kind of like a pink skin as well. Now, considering these are the only ones that he is showing, I, I don't know what that is. I honestly don't know what that's supposed to be. Yeah, these skins, uh, I didn't see them in the Battle Pass, and I'm not sure what these are supposed to be exactly, but I guess a new skin that could potentially be getting added into Valorant. Looks like there is... Now, one thing I do want to point out is this doesn't actually have something down at the bottom. It only has the name of it. So that just points to how um, unfinished this could possibly be. Uh, in my opinion. A stinger skin to go with it. I, I also do want to point out that the some of the skins have this effect on them and some of them don't. I don't know why that is. Uh, again, I feel like that's just because this isn't complete yet. This isn't a, uh, a finished build of these skins, potentially. Or, I'm an idiot and they're just two totally different skins. I think they're actually just two different skins because you can see the names are different down there. That's uh, my bad. <laughs> um, weird, weird prism looking skin. I do think that these ones look a lot cool, a lot cooler though. That's a, a very interesting, kind of like the Nebula skin. Very similar to Nebula in Winter Wonderland. I got one for the Vandal. For both of them, actually. And then we see Yoro's new stuff. His car. Cool, cool buddy right there. And then a new Sheriff skin which looks really cool. 
Um, I like the the little studs on the the actual grip of it. But yeah, I mean, that is everything that we know is going to be in the Battle Pass so far. I will link this actual video and the guy who, who uploaded this video in the uh, description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and y'all take it easy.